Hi, this is Chris with Cloud Computing for Kids. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a step function. First, we need to go into the IAM console to create a role. So we click on the left hand side roles and create a role. So we're going to be choosing the Lambda uh, access case and we can go ahead and move on to permissions. So here we need to uh, type in step function in the search bar to find the step function permissions. We are going to be using full access and generally you do not want to do this, but it doesn't really matter for right now. So next we're going to go ahead and name this step function role so we can identify it easily and we do not need to change the description. Now that we have our role, let's go into the Lambda console. So since we've done this before, I will speed through it. So create a function. Uh, we're going to be using Python again, and we will call this start. So Python, and then finally, we have to choose our role from earlier. We call this one step function role, and as you can see, it appears and we can click on it. So now that I'm in the Lambda console, I will go ahead and delete all of the unnecessary bits of the Hello World uh, Python code. So let's just get rid of all of that. And finally, we can go ahead and deploy this and we can test it. And uh, we don't really need the event. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and name that whatever. So as you can see, the output is exactly what we want. So we can then go into the step function console. So from uh, the step function console, we have to create a state machine. Uh, because I have not done this on this account before, I have to go through this page. Uh, however, I can click on the state machines uh, up in the top left hand corner to get into the console area. So now that we're here, we can go ahead and create a state machine. I will be using design uh, workflow visually since I find it kind of interesting. And finally, we can go ahead and choose the AWS Lambda invoke. And we're going to go ahead and just drag it in there. Uh, next, uh, we can go ahead and choose the function. And if you remember from earlier, we called it start. And as you can see, it's exactly the same one. So now that we've uh, chosen our AWS Lambda function, we can finish uh, creating the state machine. Uh, we don't really need to change any of the other settings, so we can press next. And here we can review the JSON code over here, and we don't need to change anything. Uh, finally, I'm going to be calling this uh, hello world state machine. Uh, yeah. So, and then I can uh, choose a new role or create a new role actually, since it seems kind of buggy at the moment. And finally, I can go ahead and create it. Now this does take a little bit of time, but I will wait here. Um, there was an error. Um, I'm not entirely sure what caused this or how this worked, but we can just go ahead and choose the existing role. Um, the, I have not seen that error before, and we can create the state machine. So next we can start the state machine and invoke it. So we should get an output of hello world uh, in our Lambda invoke area. So as you can see, we have the input and finally we have the output, which is hello world. So we know that this worked and we can see that this worked because we go into the state machines and we see that one has succeeded. And finally, we're just going to go ahead and uh, delete everything again. So we just delete everything, including the IAM role. And that's it. Thank you for watching.